Over a billion animals have died from these fires across Australia and there's a lot of sad stories. Buried in amongst all those stories are, are some you know, particularly critical stories of species that a lot of people wouldn't have heard of before that are living already on the edge of extinction only to have a fire of this intensity to come through. This particular subspecies of glossy black cockatoo is found nowhere else. So if they go, that'll be the end of, end of the road for the kangaroo island glossy black cockatoo. Today we've seen a really stark contrast between one of our sites we saw 14 birds mating, getting ready to nest for the year, um, and then we've come out to this end of the island, most of their habitat's been burnt. We've got three females who are trying to nest behind me in this burnt area. So, you know, you'll get several hundred trees and there's maybe three or four live ones. They're feeding on those trees, so starvation is a real concern going forward for these flocks. Funds from WWF have just been an absolute lifesaver for this program. The funds from this will enable us to survey all the burned habitat. Then we'll actually be able to be really strategic about where we're putting our nest boxes and where we're putting our food. So we're putting it in the best place for the cockatoos. If I'm here in Lathamai Conservation Park on Kangaroo Island, the scene of devastating wildfires. And incredibly, glossy black cockatoos are attempting to breed. It just shows how nature can bounce back from even the most terrible of circumstances. And we can only support that work, the work that fantastic people are doing here on the ground, through the support that you've given us. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.